Hello, hello. I am making a foot massage video here in the garden. It's a good day today after several days of rain and it smells so amazing after it has rained. And there are a lot of little light blue strange flies in the air. I don't know if the camera shows light blue strange flies a lot of them i've never seen those before they don't look like fruit flies they're light blue <laughs> aliens from out of space <laughs> strange uh -huh. very strange <laughs> but whatever, they don't sting, so that's okay. As long as they don't fly into my eyes or mouth or nostrils, then uh, that would be still tolerable. But anyway, it just suddenly got really, really, really hot. It was already like just above 50 degrees Fahrenheit for like a week and more and now it is like 80 degrees and it's strange but it is hot and moist and and I smell the earth and the plants and it smells absolutely phenomenal and I really enjoy it and I also need to cry on your shoulders a little bit because I have been very badly and very like backhandedly bullied on Facebook and I could feel it last night all night long I could feel it there one got caught blue yes this is strange <laughs> one got caught on my sweat so anyway um, I could feel it all night last night and it kept me awake and I had a hard time falling asleep and then when I fell asleep I didn't sleep very deeply I, f I woke up again several times with like loud talking in my head like almost going almost bordering voices and hearing things but not really not to the point where I think someone's talking to me but like a very loud noise and loud talking, angry talking in my head, an angry energy that I felt from other people and myself talking in in defense of myself. So that that's what happens sometimes. Yeah, I am definitely not Eckhart Tolle, I'm not Tio Swan. I am not Nizargadatta Maharaj, for sure, yes, I am far, 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 far from enlightened, <laughs> you can tell by my videos that I'm not enlightened, but that's where I am, you know, I get mad, I get offended, my ego gets hurt. Ta -da -da -ta, all of this, the entire thing, you know, like, yeah, like everyone else, you know, and maybe some people have it better under control, they have it in a vice grip, and that's, that's, I tell you, that's really, really not good for your body, okay, so as Jiddu Krishnamurti said and David Bohm, um, they actually discussed the, the dichotomies that people create, you know, the, the, the either this or that, you know, opposites, like this cannot be if this is, or this is, this is the opposite of that. This is an illusion, you know, that people make, that things are opposite from one another, and it is illusionary in our sense of reality so I just want to make a foot video here are my nice socks so I'm gonna take those off and 
I apologize right, right up front for not waxing. <laughs> I haven't been wax, waxing because I kind of don't need it. <laughs> but I put light blue nail polish on, matching my pants, which the pants I made myself. It's kind of cute. These are double layered. Very thick, now very, very warm. And since I was already wearing them today, I didn't want to get any more clothes dirty. So I had just put those on last night because it was kind of chilly and then wake up today and it's like almost 80 degrees. So it's very strange. And this is a cream I made that is absolutely amazing made that myself out of red kaolin clay and sodium bentonite clay and white kaolin clay and beeswax and uh, mango wax and tree resin from one of our trees needle trees it's one of those I think and but a very large one and he had a lot of I say he because in German a tree is is a man a tree is masculine so the tree had a lot of resin a, a lot of spots where the resin was flowing out in huge amounts like fist size amounts like this and I would just pluck that off that tree and it was already halfway falling off and I melted it and I made fantastic creams with this and this stuff if you put this on any kind of wound and on any kind of insect bite it heals it right up it heals it within 10 minutes that's absolutely amazing so feels good to make a foot massage video. I give myself a foot massage like every time after taking a shower I will put I will massage my creams onto my feet and so I'll do some extra massaging for the video which is good for me and maybe beneficial and maybe calming for other people as well. So it's very nice. I love this nail polish. It's very beautiful. Very cosmic. And one can see my arm and hand got already suntanned, which I don't like because I've been spending a lot of time the summer outside and my legs are still white because I didn't wear shorts very much. Only when we go to the beach I wear shorts so that I can take my shoes off and walk through through the water and splash do some splashing. Sporadic hair growing. <laughs> That's my natural hair. It gets about, about maybe like I don't know, half an inch long or something. The longest ones are in here, and up here they get shorter. I really don't. <laughs> I don't need to wax for anyone because I live in celibacy again. <laughs> so, and yeah, and maybe there are some. I already talked to men who like her hair on on women's legs. I don't quite understand how. Hi. A bee came. That's a good thing. 
bees. I love bees. Smells my the bee smells my my essence that I made. <laughs> bee, don't come to me. Don't sting me, please. Go to go somewhere else. <laughs> It's a good thing when you see bees because I'm really worried about the bee populations. They're in decline because because of the overuse of pesticides in agriculture in particular. This is really, really dangerous what's going on. So where we live here, we're like in the in the backwoods and we still have bees. It's just great. Yeah, I have been bullied again. I was worried about that because I showed a little bit too much of my boobs and apparently that pisses some people off and then they have to retaliate and they have to ask me whether I'm gay (laughs) and some people ask me whether I'm a guy or a tranny (laughs) and it hurts yes we all know that it hurts yeah even though we know who we are it still hurts that we you know might come across ugly or something you know so not feminine enough or you know for the guys not masculine enough it hurts and people know that and that's why they use these kind of word techniques and it's very sad and even though I know that is why they do it they want to retaliate it still hurts because I don't think anyone in the world has such a rock-solid self-esteem and security, psychological, mental security, where they where it just beads off. I don't think anyone is totally. completely unaffected psychologically by that so I don't know maybe some people are well I certainly am not it hurts and but as Jiddu Krishnamurti and David Bohm were talking about about this this the dualism between good versus bad violent versus non-violent you know that you know whatever I feel in that moment they came they they were discussing that whatever you feel in that moment that is who you are it's not separate separate from you you know, it's people want to make this into a separate thing. People want to make bad emotions into separate things, just like they want to blame things on a devil or a demon. You know, like, oh, this is just my mental illness. I'm blaming it on that, or this is just a demon in me, or this is just my split personality, my other personalities, or this is just because of the drugs or that's just because of this and so they tuck it away it's in as a form of 
further splitting things, further analyzing and splitting things into compartments. We need to come back to ground zero and say, Ooh, this is how I feel right now in this moment, you know, I am hurt. And if we can't admit that to other people, at least let's admit that to ourselves. Let's sit down on the grass, enjoy nature, meditate, look in the sky and say, this is how I feel right now. I am feeling hurt. Okay, it hurts. And I could actually feel what these people were thinking. That there are women who wish me really terrible things. Okay, They wish me to get sick and all of this. I don't want to get into the details. But there are people who, who hate me. There are women who hate me so much. They want me to die. <clears throat> They want me to commit suicide and and stuff and get sick and stuff like that. And I could feel this all night long. And because I am very attuned into what's going on energetically around me and in the world. It's It's a quantum type of entanglement and perception, quantum perception. Telepathic quantum perception that's going on. It's very, very. It feel, it feels terrible when I can, I can also sense when men want me, when when there's a lot of men wanting me and there's a lot of men on Facebook. And um, yes, I like it, and it feels good. But then there's the other thing, you know, that ha- everything has a flip side then there are people who get jealous of the attention and then they get sudden and and I can tell by the comments that are getting worse every day against me and there and when there is no consciousness about these processes that go on in people then the ego takes over and people think this is completely real this is like as real as possible. This is, as Jiddu Krishnamurti said, fantastically real. That's what they think. That's what it feels like to them. Fantastically real. All of this, all of this ridiculous, you know, courting and showing and wanting and attention seeking and all of this and this entire attention seeking kind of reality that's out there and I'm in the middle of it I am not not above it not at all I wish I was but I'm not I like attention I like compliments I like I like men writing to me if they write in a nice way of course uh, A lot of them don't write in a nice way. Then Mark Zuckerberg has that automatic messenger calling, whether you want that or not, it's happening. I'm in the middle of writing something important, like I'm writing something in regards to animal rights or health. And and there there is these Ali up up. Abdullah Kabada Shrajnish. Dum 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 dum. And I've told them, and I see the same names, and I've told them many, many, many times that I don't do video chat. But they don't take no for an answer. They just don't. So they keep calling. It's I'm not so much blaming them. They are definitely thinking not through the brain. So, but Mark Zuckerberg thinks through the dollar bill. And because of that, because of that, he has that going, that automatic phone calling when you, I'm, I'm on my Chromebook. And I turned all of this off already. And I go like, why the heck 
is this still happening? Why is this still calling me? This phone feature, you know, and I've turned everything off the camera, my location. I turned Messenger, all of this off. I rejected that, declined. No, it's still happening, calling, blim, blim, blim. And that's not the worst thing. The worst thing is that I could ignore that, but it freezes every other activity in for the moment until I have either accepted or declined the call. So I have to go, okay, right in the middle of formulating my sentence, which is already requires a lot of brain cell sugar and and attention and concentration and then this thing comes and I have to stop what I'm doing and that happens like every 20 seconds you can imagine that is pretty darn annoying particularly for writers and activists that's very annoying so I wrote to Mark Zuckerberg on Facebook which I just posted on my timeline and I said, please, Mark Zuckerberg, take that off. You know, we don't want to be interrupted all the time when we're writing something. And this guy, technician, technological guy in the tech technological group comes uh, immediately to the defense of Mark Zuckerberg. And I was wondering why that is. But anyway, I give him benefit of the doubt. <laughs> so, um, saying that, oh, giving this copying and pasting this blog from Mark Zuckerberg, which says, please disgruntled Facebook users, don't leave. Facebook, you have other options. He doesn't want to anyone to leave because every account makes him money, obviously. And I think these the horny sheiks, I think they, I, I don't know if they get something going where I wouldn't be surprised if if the horny sheiks fall for some scams where they show really white women as white as snow and and they show them I, this is a theory right now because I've already I, I paid attention to this I I see I observe these things not just with myself but others because they really really got hung up on that uh, and so they they show these this is my theory they show these they just hijack people's photos on the internet and create fake accounts somewhere in the Middle East where like peep show accounts or something you come here Sheikh Abdullah Al Zaleh and you pay and then I will give you this nice escort lady which is totally not an escort just a, an innocent facebook user not knowing what's going on and uh, then you can she will talk to you and then she will please you and all of this and might she might even join islamic state and 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 your harem and all of this. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is if, if this is happening. You know, I don't put anything past people. They are capable of of really literally everything when it comes to money. You know, and when it comes to exploiting people and animals and nature and the planet. Yeah, it's it's amazing it's just amazing so I had to talk about this this is this on my mind and it makes me very angry and you can see it in the photo also that I took I took several photos I have a frown on my head and I cannot I cannot iron that frown out no matter how hard I try and that's why 
Judy Krishnamurti's David Bohm said, you know, you are the anger. You are that hurt in that moment. That is part of you. Don't reject it. Don't compartmentalize it. Don't put it away and say, "Oh, this is because then you just keep you, you just keep splitting yourself from one thing to the next, and it becomes more and more convoluted and more and more clenched, and it can actually hurt the body." So let's come back to the truth and realize. This is what I am in this moment. These are the chemicals that are running through my brain. This is the hurt. This is the worry about the future of planet Earth. This is is what's going through my brain. I can feel other people's... All night long I could also feel other people's pain and suffering. These people are coming from tremendous inner torture to be sending such negative thoughts. Uh, They are tortured minds, okay? And and there are several times where I had to say, I love you all, you know? And where I started formulating entire blogs saying, I love you, I love you, I love you. Don't hate, don't hate me or don't hate anyone. I said to one woman, she said she wants big, big boobs, and she wants it so very much. And I could feel her pain. I could. This is an honest woman. She's, and she's aware of it. Okay. This is already ten thousand steps further towards the light. And she was just actually crying crying on under my my cleavage photo that she wants the big boobs too and it would be so nice to have that and I said you're beautiful just the way you are you need to love yourself and so then I made a photo where I painted hearts on my breasts but I didn't show all the breasts it's also not legal and I didn't and so but that showed a little bit more cleavage and I guess that came across completely backwards or something like I'm trying to make them feel better but (laughs) you know kinda I should have used my legs for that you know to paint a, a heart on my legs but I want women to paint hearts on their breasts because the breasts are, that's like, that's, that's the divine feminine. That is, that is our divine feminine. This is our mammalia, our love givers, our, our nurturers. Oh, God, this is all very, very complicated. Then it is a complicated jumble of my own needs and that are mixed in with hormonal needs, that are mixed in with attention needing, with men needing, with compliment needing, with trying to make trying to educate people on self-love and all of this suddenly gets completely jumbled up and then I had an ungood feeling about that photo, the photos that I put up and promptly I felt it all night long, I felt this incessant need of the men coming at me even though I said I'm married, they were they don't take no for an answer and they are like incessantly all night long and they would say to me the next day I haven't slept all night long I was looking at your photos and I I want you and I can't stand it and it is painful and many of them and then I then I think this is all terrible I should not be doing this and um, I'm probably going to be hated now for this video too. 
but you know what this is and and there are some women who who understand what I'm talking about I have two friends Jamie Lee um, a photo model girl and and my friend Ruth from Costa Rica and they get that same stuff all the time so they know what they know what I'm talking about and they are also conflicted with obviously that same situation you know we and there's nothing wrong with uh, being a woman and having strong sexual desires and urges and needs and so on and there's nothing wrong with it you know as long as we are kind-hearted givers and that's what we are and so when we're givers for the men that come after us then they want more and more and more and more and the women that are there that are being put in the shadow they get very very upset and I understand it hurts terribly bad that situation and I I know because I have also suffered from jealousy in my life. I know I know what it feels like to be jealous. I've always thought that this or that woman is much better than I am. I've come now to the conclusion because of my teacher, the really good teachers. I've come now to a I'm not completely through, but I I have come closer to understanding myself, my mind, forgiving myself, understanding myself, why I felt jealous and why I suffered so much and and loving myself and giving myself comfort, which I want everyone to do for themselves. This is the first vital step to create peace in the world, that every single one, woman and men too, giving comfort to themselves, to their own bodies. Now it's not gay, it's not feminine, it's not, you're not going to become a woman because of this, you know, because you give yourself love. And the woman, the women out there, they need that so bad, they need to give love to themselves. Listen to Teal Swan's videos, she talks about this in several videos, how Im incredibly, infinitely important self-love is. I see a lot of women hating themselves, hating the way they look, and feeling like they want to give up and stuff like this. I know I have been through this a thousand million times, so... You have to love yourself, forgive yourself, meditate, understand that you cannot suppress any of these emotions. Okay? Don't suppress them, don't act them out either. It's very this is, this is very important. Okay? Don't act it out on anyone. Don't start to throw insults at someone to get even or to <laughs> To make the other feel ba bad so you can feel a little bit better or feel refreshed as some people use that word you know it's not refreshing it is not making you feel better it's gonna make you feel worse and worse and worse if you do that and it's unhealthy because you get into a state of denial and the ego takes over and that's very unhealthy so it's unhealthy for the brain and the body. You, know, you need to accept where you are, what you are feeling in this moment. In this moment, for example, yes, I take my own example. I am hurt. Okay, <laughs> I feel hurt, and it's okay. Okay, I feel hurt, and it's okay, and I'm giving myself love. And I give myself comfort. It's okay. <laughs> okay foot. It's okay hand. It's okay leg. It's okay body. Yeah. It's okay boobs. <laughs> it's not your fault. So, 
It's okay, skin and face and hair and eyes, a brain, brain cells, you know, even the brain cells that create bad thoughts. The brain cells, they themselves don't want to create bad thoughts. They don't want war for anyone. It's just the thought constellation. The brain, the neuronal connection, connections that are made against the will of the neurons themselves. This is this is very, very, very interesting and complex. We need to come to understand all of this. I talked about this before many times. The brain cells of a hunter don't want to kill the deer. It is the neuronal connections that do it. The neuronal connections are a product of the ego. And what is the ego? The ego is is a split personality. The ego is is there to protect the child from further hurt. Daddy says, don't be a sissy, man up, boys don't cry about, you know, this or that. I don't don't even want to get into the details with this, it's because it's so sad, so infinitely sad. Then the boy grows up thinking he has to be tough and he has to be a hunter or something to match daddy's expectations and to match that what he has established now through his dad as thinking what women want in a man. And I tell you, women do not want a man who kills animals. Okay. And not even the women who also have been brought up in that same society. They really, if you if you dig down deep, they don't want that either. Okay? So why do women fall in love with a singer? I fell in love with a singer in 2010. Until I found out he has killed a bear mother in Russia. And then... The singing has totally wrapped me around his fingers. Because the singing is the his soft side, you know. That's his sweet side. That's why so many women fall in love with men singing. You know, it's an old tradition, goes back to the minnes singers during the Middle Ages. A minnes singer would be standing in front of his beloved girl girl's window and sing all night long until she melts and falls into his arms this is a very famous theme okay now we have it today in form of heavy metal singers <laughs> and but then I see oh my god she did an atrocity so I saw the bear cups and I I realized what he has done and for me there was abs- there's absolutely no way in the world even if he offered me his house and all of his wealth his 300 million dollars or whatever he has I wouldn't take it I wouldn't touch it I would not touch that man a hunter who kills bear mothers and and they leave the babies in the den behind. They let the babies watch while they kill the bear mother and gut her. Oh my gosh. You know, this is this is what the, the human ego does. And that's why I make videos because I want you to realize that when you become unconscious about your ego your ego will take over and these atrocities can happen and they happen in the world and we need to dissolve the ego okay so you guys take care